All right, guys, headed to Atlantic City for our 13th national. Excited to be back, the biggest card show in the world, but wanted to start the week off with some questions about the national. So let's just get right into it and answer uh, answer a couple questions about this week's show. So many people to thank and know that, like, like you said, this is, this is only the beginning. Welcome back to Card Talk, thousands of people. Collections, card shops, and collectors. 47.5, you're, you're good to go. All right, come in. <laughs> a lot of time ahead and a lot of opportunity to, to, to make this place special every day, so. What's going to be the biggest difference between this year's national and last year when you're in Chicago? So I think there's a couple big differences between this year's show and last year's show. Last year's show still had some restrictions from COVID that I don't think will be there this year that will open up more things. So things like the Panini VIP party will be back this year. I saw Panini added an NFT party. Uh, a lot of the big corporate events after show hours will be there. I think that's gonna be one of the biggest things that wasn't there last year. Uh, market's definitely in a different spot. I think last year the market was kind of trending upward, whereas in the last couple of months, possible recession, cards have been trending maybe the other direction. There's still some stuff that's up, but I think the market being in a different, a different spot a year later is definitely a difference. And then I think the third thing would be just overall the, the, the venue. Chicago is really one of the best venues because of the social aspect. You have five hotels connected to the convention center. Don't really have to walk outside without getting into the show. I think that helped. But Atlantic City's got a lot more space. Chicago's a lot more jam-packed in there. So I think Atlantic City will be bigger, more open uh, more open space. So I think those are the three of the, the biggest differences between this year's show and last year's show. What are your thoughts on any of the in-show promotions, such as like the Panini Silver Packs, or like what non-spit giveaway that they're doing? Yeah, so there's definitely gonna be a lot of stuff this year. Uh, I saw Panini announce some of their Silver Pack stuff on their blog about the, uh, their vlog about the National earlier this week. So they're gonna have a couple different uh, packs available for select boxes. Uh, you'll have that, you have the Panini VIP party and NFT party. NFT party is different. Uh, the VIP party is always Saturday night. Typically a couple athletes, you get some gold packs, autographs of the athletes there. Uh, it's a good time, I've been to a couple of them. Panini does a fantastic job with that. Uh, those are always great. Again, we're a lot of football, basketball. Uh, those are a lot of the sports we mess with, so those things are more prevalent to us. So I'm sure Tops, Upper Deck, Leaf, some of those other companies will do things like that. But like I know Leaf is doing a like case break redemption where if you get like Leaf Pop Century, Leaf Ultimate Football, uh, Leaf Multi Sport, there's a few different ones. If you get a case of those, you can redeem it for like a national exclusive uh, box from Leaf with like a one on one autograph. Now, you want to check with these companies for them or just. I'll just mention them, but I'm sure Leaf and Panini have more specific details about their promotions, uh, but I just know that they're there. And then I think Upper Deck's doing one as well, where if you rip like a box or a pack, you get stuff from Upper Deck. Whatnot, we've promoted that on our IG page today, that Whatnot has a has their biggest card giveaway ever going on this week, where you can win packs of 86 player basketball and 2003-2004 Chrome basketball. Two of those will be given away at our trade night which is on Thursday, we'll get into that in a second. Uh, but yeah, whatnot, that's obviously gonna be a huge booth. I know they're uh, helping sponsor the Breaking Pavilion. So there's just gonna be a lot of stuff going on in the show. Again, we talk about it every year, but there's a, there's a lot of cool stuff that happens at the show. It only happens once a year, but definitely gonna, definitely gonna be a lot of cool in-show in promos going on. What are some things happening outside of the show hours that you yeah, so after hours is honestly almost just as busy as the actual show is. So obviously we have trade night Thursday, the official trade night of the Nationals this Thursday, July 28th, 6.30 to 10.30 in Ballroom A. It's free to attend. It's just outside the show floor. We've talked about that before. Shout out to Panini, Whatnot, and Golden for sponsoring that, helping making that making that happen. We're looking forward to that. And then I know there's a couple other trade nights that'll go on, like Don Diego's hosting a TCG trade night with Whatnot on Friday night. Uh, Card Talk will have an event on Friday night. 
but people always ask, hey, do you know of any other trade nights that go on? So honestly, a lot of these trade nights just are like pop-up trade nights that happen in hotel lobbies after the show hours. Uh, so if we see any of those, stay tuned to our Instagram page. I'll try to repost those on my Instagram story. So if you're looking for those, I'll try to mention those. So again, Panini's VIP party Saturday, Panini's NFT party on Friday. There's typically a lot of those different things that happen after hours. Trade night's always a big one of them. But again, I know about the Don Diego one. I know about the Car Talk one, as we'll likely go to both. But yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff happening after the show. Are you planning? Um, so we're probably going to grade a couple cards. We'll probably do a few with PSA and a few with SGC. So I saw SGC is doing their like raw card review for the first time ever at a show. They just announced that service. I saw Peter made a video on Thursday talking about that. So I think we're going to try that out, see see what the, what the market says about that. So we're excited to try a few of those. And then we'll probably try a few with PSA to try to get a couple things graded. Have a couple football cards we want to try to get back before the end of the show. So we'll probably look at those two options. I know Beckett did announce some of their plans. I think they have encapsulation by the end of the day for like 250 a card with subgrades and they've got raw card review. So I saw Beckett announced a few as well. Uh, but I think at the moment it's gonna be a couple SGC, like raw card review type stuff, and then a few uh, a few cards going to PSA as well. So where can people find you at the show? Yeah, so we are gonna be set up right next to Slab Stocks in booth 1560. It's not far from corporate. Uh, it's, I think looking on the map, like it's right by like CSG, right by Leaf. Uh, not far from Upper Deck. Again, corporate's the easy spot because that's going to be a lot of the biggest setups in the entire show is, is where the, the corporate dealers are. So we're 1560, again, right next to Slab Stocks. Yeah, and stay tuned for tomorrow because tomorrow we'll, uh, we'll likely post a video live from the show floor kind of showcasing where we're going to be, what the, what the show looks like, where specific uh, corporate booths are, where you get in, that kind of stuff. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. So what are you hoping? buy at your booth this week at the bench. Yeah, so we've been buying a lot lately because we've been selling a lot lately on, on whatnot. Uh, we I mean, we go live five times a week on there, so the biggest thing we're after right now is the stuff that we're moving the most of, like $25 to $200 cards in bulk. That's probably the biggest one for us. Probably some local teams, especially football, as football gets started. You have Bengals, Browns, Buckeyes. That kind of stuff always sells well in Columbus. So we'll probably look to stock up on some of that. Uh, cheap slabs. Yeah, just cool stuff. I mean, this is a this is a five-day show with you know anybody and everybody, dealers from all over the country. There's just so much opportunity here. So I think the big thing is there's just gonna be so many different things to buy, sell, and trade for this week. I, I'm, uh, I'm excited, but those are the things we're probably the most most interested in. What do you think is going to be hot at the National? So we say it every year, but I think it's a lot of the same stuff as before. I think football will be a big one. Football's always hot going, you know, this time of year. The Hall of Fame game, I believe, is next weekend. So you're going to have, I think it's Raiders and Ravens. I forget who it is. Ra Raiders play next weekend in the Hall of Fame game. Training camp actually starts today. Uh, so football is going to be the talk, and I, and I think that will lead to uh, I think that will lead to football sales being being up there. Basketball is a little while away, so it might have some some uh, interest in the market. I think the unique, the really really good stuff, the stuff that's always in demand, the stuff that sets records on you know these auction houses. I think that stuff will always be in demand. But I think the most stuff that the really the average collector, the stuff that we buy and sell the most of, is uh, I think the most in demand stuff for that will likely be likely be football more specifically QB stuff. Then what are you looking forward to the most at the National? Um, just being there with our entire team for you know, seven days. It's Monday now. We're going to be there basically for an entire week, buying, selling, trading, hanging out at the booth, uh, going to you know 15-hour days because you got the show all day, then you've got some sort of trade night after, uh, and seeing everybody, right? It's just we get to meet a lot of cool people, people we interact with every day on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. Get to meet a lot of cool people, put names to faces, make deals. Uh, you know, meet some of the younger collectors in there. That's uh, that's always fun. So I think just being at the show, there's nothing in the world like it. So just uh, 
just being in the Atlantic City Convention Center for a car show for five straight days, I think that's probably what I'm looking forward to the most. Train night. This yep. year, it's going to be big. The first year we're like, partnered with the National. What are your thoughts about that this year? Yeah, it's been great to work with the National. It's uh, it's really been a, like a win-win for both. They've helped get the word out about the event, uh, but it also makes it easier on anybody going to the Nash or going to the trade night because you won't have to drive, you won't have to walk super far. It's just outside of the show floor. That's going to make it ten times easier for everybody involved, and they have the most space. So it's thirty thousand square feet. That's t- three times bigger than the the biggest venue we've ever hosted it in, which is in Chicago. Uh, so I think it's really a win-win for everybody. We're going to have a lot of goodie bags that we're going to give away, 1,500 of them, first 1,500 people. That will have, again, different prizes. I talked about it earlier. But WhatNot gave us two of their golden tickets for their biggest card giveaway ever. We'll have those in two of the fifteen ba- or 1,500 bags. Um, one person for an 86 Flare, one person for an 0304 Chrome. It'll be some food, drink. Uh, we had, again, 30,000 square feet to buy, sell, and trade with a bunch of card collectors and people you interact with on a daily basis for free that's that's cool just seeing everybody there enjoying themselves having a good time um, is just that that's that's what makes it fun what's one piece of advice that you'd give to someone attending their first finish um, take lots of pictures would probably be my corny advice I, uh, I went to my first national in 2009 in Cleveland and haven't missed one since and I didn't start documenting and taking pictures and doing a lot of that stuff till later in my nationals you know my national journey Uh, but I wish I had pictures and photos and videos and that kind of stuff from 2009 when I went considering I've you know this is maybe my 13th one and it's cool to look back and be like okay I've been to so many of them um all over the country, met so many different people, made so many different deals. I don't have a ton of pictures and stuff from that, and I think that's why I enjoy creating content so much. Is I just enjoy looking back and, you know, seeing the entire journey. Uh, so I think that would be my piece of advice: is just take lots of pictures. It's a, uh, it's cool to look back on and see what it was like then, and what was happening, and what people were interested in, and who you met. So that would be my piece of advice: it would be take lots of pictures. That is all I got, guys. That's 10 questions. Again, we're going to drop a video tomorrow previewing what the show floor looks like live from the National. Stay tuned from that. And we talked about it earlier about in-show promotions. Stay tuned. We're going to have some break videos coming up this week. We're definitely going to rip some product. We're going to do some box wars. Can't let Reg go too much longer without getting a win there. So probably, uh, probably rip some product this week. We'll drop those. And, of course, vlogs from the National. We'll see you guys in Atlantic City. Peace, guys.